seekers. I am Australian. You know, I just did a uh, more of a tribute. I'm not really going to call it a reaction. I mean, I did react slightly, but it was really more of a tribute for Judith, who sadly has passed away. And, uh, you know, we want to take a moment to just pay our respects and, you know, show our love to her and her family, wish them the very best and send our condolences. I wanted to make a separate video in light of the legacy that she has left behind because this song right here, when I was listening to that song, if you go and look at my previous reaction, you will see the point where I realized that I knew this song. And I was wanting to talk about it in that video, but I had already decided to myself that I was just going to kind of let that just be a tribute video and not really just really dive in and do my famous 20, 30 minute reaction on something because that's what would have happened because this right here is such a powerful song. Now, I'm not Australian, but the song makes you feel like you're Australian if you are living in Australia and you've been one to call Australia home. And it's quite interesting that feeling and that sensation I get hearing this song as an American who has lived here now for quite a few years that I hear this song and instantly I go, wow. And it's a powerful song to me. I, I can feel the the power in it, the pride in it, the beauty in it, you know, the the humbleness in it even, and the welcoming of it, the openness of it, you know what I mean? Because it feels like, almost like a invite as such, you know, if you were wanting to reach out to someone and you wanted to sh kind of say, hey, look, I want to introduce you to my country, my culture, I want you to get to know who we are, there's no better way to do it than with this song. I feel this song is a great invitation and introduction for you to come in and get a glimpse as to what it means to be an Australian. What does it mean to be uh, in Australia or to call Australia home, to be one of many? Do you know what I mean? There's a pride, there's a sense of belonging, but there's a sense of family and togetherness. I have lived here long enough to find out from myself firsthand just how absolutely beautiful the Australian people are. This is a country full of amazing people, amazing pride, amazing love, and they absolutely care about their citizens. <clears throat> I've noticed this firsthand. They have things that we don't have, they have free medical, you know, medical for their citizens. They give, they got all these different grants and incentives and all these different things, you know, to, to put in place to help their citizens to be able to enjoy their best life, if you will. I'm not saying Australia is perfect because no country is and no government's perfect. Everywhere has their issues. But I will say that every Australian who I've ever met has a great sense of pride of being Australian. And this song showcases that. There's a pride because Australians deep down inside, they have this, this subtleness about themselves. You know, it's quite interesting. You know, Australians are, are some of the most laid back, chilled people you'll ever meet. You know, they are so just, even though this song is like, I am Australian, it is not a, look at me, I am better than you, I am an Australian, blah, blah, blah. It's none of that freaking ego crap or anything like, look at me, the mighty Australian. Like, it's nothing like that. It is absolutely in the most humblest sense of the word of just belonging. Just a sense of belonging and, and pride of where they've come from and how they've gotten to this point and their beautiful cultured history. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of, of things that Australians have had to, to, you know, like any country, any peoples, you know, they've had their down points in history. There's 
there's a stories of some unpleasant things that I'm not going to discuss in this video because it's not the point of it. But there's been their ups and downs through history, like any country. But this song is a reflection of a, you know what, we've climbed and climbed to get to where we are today. And there is a humble pride about that. And it's such a beautiful thing. And this song is kind of like a really great, perfect song to have, um, you know, been asked to react to right now um, in Judith's passing. I think it is so strong and powerful because this song represents her. <laughs> it really does. You know, this song represents her. You can hear her singing the song and know a glimpse of what she stood for. What was she about? You know, her values. You know, uh, you know, you, you got a glimpse of all of those beautiful things just from this song. And I've, I've, I'm like this song, I've heard this song before um, in like, TV commercials over here since living in Australia. Like, I've never heard this song until living in Australia, which makes sense because it's singing about Australia. But um, I've heard this song and I've always thought, since the very first time I've heard it, I was like, wow, this is such an incredible, amazing song. Now, there's no way that I thought that I actually knew any Seekers songs. I couldn't think of anything and I couldn't remember if I've actually reacted to anything of theirs. So I'm like, I probably don't know any of their music. And then suddenly I hear this song and I go, holy crap, I know this song. This song is iconic. The hook is so iconic. You know, you hear this song and it's like, wow, no way. So this is the Seekers song. This is the people who sing the song and Judith is part of the group who is singing by the way her vocals in this song are absolutely incredible she has an amazing voice absolutely amazing voice in the song like you can't help but be like wowed by just the awesomeness of her vocals in this song but I gotta tell you guys like it was a crazy feeling because I too even though I'm not Australian you know by birth obviously you know I'm not from here I'm an American but Australia's embraced me. I, I, I feel such a kindredness. I feel a closeness with the Australian people. I have so many Australian uh, beautiful experiences that I've had since coming to this country. And, you know, I've met some wonderful people, absolutely wonderful people. And, you know, you hear all kinds of stories. You know, I was shocked because I, I heard some um, stories of some people from you know, um, overseas saying that when they come to Australia, you know, some people have said, oh, they've had a horrible experience or so, whatever, the people or this or that. I'm like, what Australia did you go to? Because I have lived here for a, a long time now and I have never experienced the Australia that some of these people talk about. I'm like, dude, I've, that's not the Australia that I live in. I don't know what you're talking about. Because, and again, I'm not saying it's perfect. I mean, look, I've had my own <laughs> experiences here and there. But that's anywhere, guys. You know, anywhere you go on the planet, you've got good people. You've got bad people. I can say to you, though, the majority of Australians, they have something deeply embedded in them that is just beautiful. They are such beautiful people. And their country is beautiful, too. I, I, I think, like... UK, man, um, England, the British, whenever they freaking was like sending um, Australians, future Australians uh, to to this country thinking it was some type of punishment because this was supposed to be like, a, you know, the convicts they sent down here. And it's like, that's how Australia kind of started as a convict place where they sent all the criminals or something. It's like, joke is on you, bro. Like, <laughs> you sent people down here. Australia is not a... This is a beautiful country, um, really beautiful. And uh, I mean, if, if you don't know, they've got like the best beaches in the world, um, world-class beaches around the entire country. Uh, brace yourself because I, I, I've, I think my number's off now because I can't remember the exact number now. Um, I used to know the number and now I've totally kind of forgotten the exact number, but 
I need to look it up again because I don't want to say it wrong. But look, I know there's thousands and thousands and thousands of beaches around Australia. Thousands and thousands. We're not talking hundreds and hundreds. We're talking about thousands and thousands of beaches. They got tons, tons. And we're not talking about just random beaches. We're talking about quality beaches, okay? The country, the landscape is beautiful. Uh, it's, it's kind of fitting that the people here are beautiful. Maybe that's reflective of their environment. They've you can't help but become beautiful if you're surrounded by beauty, you know? Um, but I am feeling very blessed to have been able to uh, experience this country firsthand myself and see why a song like this is so powerful. Why this song is so significant, you know? Why Australians, when they hear this song, it does something to them because I feel it too, man. I feel it too. And I do think of Australia as my home, uh, you know, um, away from home, if you want to call it that way, or my second home or my home. I mean, I, I probably realistically have more of a connection uh, with Australia these days as far as um, I've spent a great deal of time here you now and, and maybe... I feel in some ways I probably know Australia better than I know my own country now, you know. And um, I mean, look, I've I've been traveling my entire life, right? I'm not one of those one dimensional or one minded type of, of, you know, Americans where it's like America's the center of the world attitude or thought process because I've never experienced that. My dad was army, so I've been traveling my entire life. I've been to all sorts of countries. And I got to tell you, Australia is freaking just at the top of the list of just absolutely incredible places that you can experience. If you haven't had that opportunity, now that the world seems to be opening back up and getting back to some sort of normality, I would highly recommend that you come and meet the people who are responsible for a song like this that has so much deepness and power but yet humbleness so much beauty and so just absolutely just just love i i, I think this is all embodied in love there's a there's a strong love here australia is a really welcoming too by the way so if you come here don't be surprised if you get invited over to a a Barbie mate, as they like to say, Barbie, you know, we call it a cookout or something or a barbecue, but they don't be surprised if you get invited over the very first day you come here or someone wants to go and buy you a, a, a beer or something or, you know, Australians are that way inclined, man. Like I, I tell you absolutely from the bottom of my heart, I think that Australia is a gym and uh, I've They've definitely have been able to uh, personally grow from my experience being here. I think I've seen some beautiful acts of kindness and beauty um, here in particular. Uh, I think there's just so much just amazingness here. You know, I've, I've met I've, I've met and seen truly beautiful people here and and I'm, I'm thankful. And this song to me, maybe that's why I feel the the beauty i mean i i actually guys there's times where i have this thought where i go you know maybe in a past life even maybe i was australian i don't know <laughs> no man because i do definitely feel a connection with this country i i think there's definitely um a reason why i've called it home i mean i feel i feel a comfort here i feel a love here and i feel i i've never once even from the first time I ever came to this country, I have never felt out of place. You know, you go somewhere, some places, and you feel like, eh, I don't fit here, or I don't belong here, I don't feel right here, I don't, I feel like, what am I doing here? Like, this is not where I should be. Like, I've never felt that. I, I think the moment I literally got off the plane, the first time when I came here, I'm in the airport, and from that very first moment, you just instantly start feeling the kind generosity, the the love, the 
the just amazing energy that Australian people have and that they they put out like it's something you have to experience you know I've I've been attempting to you know tell a lot of people to come to Australia over the years I've attempted to you know get my own father and 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 brother and you know things like that to come here I've, I've said it tons of times like come here you, you if you want a place to retire if you want a place to hang out if you want a place to freaking experience just absolute beauty and and you know just escape a lot of the bs that we have back home again not saying it doesn't exist here there's a hey, there's unfortunately this whole planet there's there's you know bad and good everywhere right there's there's some horrible things that happen here and you know around the whole world but you know overall this is a incredible place and uh this song is reflective of that it is it is such a perfect song i you, you would really know what i'm saying i bet you every single if there's any australians watching this video right now they're going to be like, I know exactly what she's saying because, yeah, dude, there's something you can't even put it into words, kind of, because it just is, dude. Like, Australia just is. There's just a way, there's a chillness, there's a coolness, there's a, a laid backness, there's a realness, an authenticness. It's like, don't get it twisted. Ozzy will tell you how they really feel, too, in a heartbeat. <laughs> like, don't get it wrong. Like, like they'll they'll use some colorful words to express that i want to do a whole video on australia and my time here and my experience i am going to do it because even though i say all these beautiful things they, they they're real people like hey look, everyone has their moments there's some words that australians say sometimes and hear the moment and you're like wow that was colorful <laughs> i dare not repeat the words they have a all the Aussies will know if I say, hey, their favorite word to say in the heat of the moment. Some, not everyone, but there's some people, the hardcore Aussie kind of word starts with a C. And everyone will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat it. But it's so Australian to hear someone go, internet. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, they've got some colorful words. But that being said, as I said... You will never meet a more just amazing country full of amazing people. Um, like, really such a amazing place. Like, out of all my travels and all the places I've been, I definitely, you know, rank Australia in my top three, like, places that you should visit at least once in your life, you know? Definitely up there in that list. Japan's on that list as well, in case anyone was wondering. Another place. Japan and Australia are very similar in a lot of ways. Even though their cultures are very different, there's a lot of similarities. And it's probably why a lot of Japanese people do tend to um, come to Australia. Well, in fact. Um, yeah. Anyways, getting off topic here a little bit. Not really, I'm not, because I'm just basically plugging Australia and how awesome it is, and this song is represented to that, and this song is awesome. But I enjoyed this, I, I enjoyed the aha moment when I just realized I knew this song. I, I was just like, oh, I want to talk about this. I'll save it. I'll do a separate video and talk about this song, and just you know, it is an iconic Australian song. It is a powerful Australian song. Every Australian knows this song, it is their song it's almost like this song is is kind of like like yeah like if you don't know this song you've got no pride <laughs> like what's wrong with you you obviously have no pride for australia if you don't know this song it's it's one of those type of songs but incredible song and i'm glad that i now know and understand that uh this song um is uh the seekers in judith and what an amazing song to leave behind for future generations to to be able to embrace and to feel that same sensation and pride and love of country 
that uh, Judith and the Seekers felt when they created this timeless and amazing song. So rest in peace, Judith, again, and much love to you and yours. And uh, guys, um, yeah, yeah, if you get a chance, you know, you should definitely, definitely visit this country. It's a, it's a beautiful country. I'm gonna make a separate video talking about the million reasons why I feel that way. Cause there's a lot, there's a lot. This would be a freaking three hour video if I talked to you about all the reasons why Australia is, is such an incredible place. And you know, um, yeah, it's cool. This is, there's a reason why a lot of people that I know, I, I've, I've got some American friends that I know that became Australian citizens, didn't think twice about it. They became Australian citizens and um, proudly did so, mind you. And um, it's kind of funny because a lot of people think, a lot of people have had the opportunity, they'd want to become an American citizen to get a green card, you know? And here you have American citizens giving that up for Australian citizenship and moving to Australia. Not that you have to completely, you can't do the dual citizen thing here, but most people don't go back home if when they come here. If they do, it's for a quick visit, but they never move back home. They literally just embrace Australia and, and this becomes their home. And with good reason, there's so many positives and pluses. Um, again, I would need a lot more time to explain them all to you. Look out for that video. But um, anyways, thank you guys for uh, listening to this kind of, it's almost like, I wouldn't even call this a post-reaction or I guess you could call it a post-reaction, but it's just kind of really me just wanting to take a moment to just share the power of such an incredible song that even I know the significance and power and beauty and majesticness of it just you know and I'm not even a born Australian but I think you if you were to talk to some of the Aussies who have come to know and love me they would tell you I was Australian <laughs> they'd be like Australia has embraced you you're you're adopted you're part of us now um I could literally hear some of the people telling me this and I've I definitely feel a kindred spirit in in just a connection with with Australia and all the beautiful people here so anyways enough of the mushy mushy <laughs> uh thank you guys for tuning in if it's your first time consider subscribing joining the, the family here and uh I'll catch you guys on the next one and as always remember each one to the fullest and to keep it off tap
the bar.